Reva's parents moved to Greenbush shortly after her death last year, and even though no one was home, Friends say Reva's parents usually hide behind these walls, away from prying eyes. Even though the interest in the Oscar Pistorius murder trial has waned in Reva's hometown, there's a sense of disbelief and anger here in the close-knit community of Greenbushes over Judge Tokazila Masipa's verdict. Down the road from their home is June Steenkamp's pub, The Barking Spider. Although our camera was not allowed inside, Patrons watch the judgment live on TV. He puts four shots in, he's used to a gun, and you tell me that that's the right decision? Never. He's got away with murder. Their sentiments are echoed by many at the Fairview Racecourse, where Reva's father Barry works as a horse trainer. No one here wanted to comment out of respect for the family. Photographer Mark West, who took Reva's first professional modelling pictures, remembers her as a captivating woman. He too is disappointed by the verdict. A lot of us wish that she had perhaps, uh, at least that, sorry, that um, p perhaps Oscar had been more forthcoming in the trial and, and been more honest and more open. Uh, presumably is wanting to get the best outcome for himself or whatever, but it would have been great if he could have actually been more open and honest as to what actually occurred that night. I think that would have helped a lot, a lot of people, especially the family. The Steenkamp's longtime friend, Belinda Zeely, knew Reva since she was a little girl. Well, my finding is that um, if you've got somebody staying with you or living um, with you, and you hear something in the bathroom or in the kitchen or anywhere in, in your house or home, what are you, what are you going to ask? You're going to ask for that person where are they, or if it is that um, the person doesn't answer, go look for them. I can see where the problem is and why they're not answering you. Just don't pick up a gun and start shooting through a door. Friends of the family are now hoping for a just sentence for Reva's death. Sandy McCowan, Port Elizabeth.